No more waiting. NASA has just officially revealed the very first James Webb data on the third interstellar visitor. 3i Atlas, now racing through our solar system. And the surprise is, what they found looks nothing like the comets we're used to. Earlier, NASA's SPHEREX Space Telescope detected a massive outburst of carbon dioxide, while water vapor and carbon monoxide, usually common in comets, appeared in extremely small amounts. Shortly after, James Webb's images were released. So what does this mean? With SPHEREX, we got a wide view of the huge gas halo, while James Webb, thanks to its ultra-detailed infrared resolution, is now uncovering the true origin of this strange phenomenon. Both of these cosmic eyes work in the infrared spectrum, invisible to the human eye, yet able to expose the hidden secrets of celestial objects. And together they're bringing us closer to solving the mystery of 3i Atlas. Is it just a comet or something entirely different? Four newly released spectral images have revealed details of 3i Atlas never seen before. At a wavelength of 1.2 microns, we can see a coma stretching thousands of kilometers, enveloping a mysterious red light source. Remarkably, this same massive carbon dioxide cloud, extending as far as 348,000 kilometers, had already been detected earlier by SPHEREX. Next, the distribution map of carbon dioxide becomes clear at 4.3 microns, while water vapor and carbon monoxide were measured at 2.7 and 4.7 microns, respectively. Faced with these surprising results, Professor Avi Loeb of Harvard quickly published a paper titled The First Webb Telescope Observations of 3i Atlas. In it, he emphasized that James Webb confirmed 3i Atlas is releasing huge amounts of carbon dioxide, while water vapor and carbon monoxide remain extremely scarce, perfectly consistent with what SPHEREX had reported. The most astonishing discovery is that James Webb's images show 3i Atlas has no dust tail at all, unlike a typical comet. The absence of a tail suggests it isn't releasing enough dust particles around 0.5 microns in size, particles that would normally be blown away by sunlight to form the long streak behind a comet. Instead, the few dust grains observed are actually directed toward the sun, the exact opposite of what local comets usually do. Here lies the biggest paradox. Despite lacking a dust tail, 3i Atlas still shines unusually bright. So bright, in fact, that ordinary comet models cannot explain it. Under normal circumstances, when a comet nears the sun, surface ice sublimates, forming a glowing coma and a dust tail trailing behind. But 3i Atlas breaks this rule. Its brightness doesn't come from surrounding dust, but instead seems to reflect directly off its massive surface. According to Webb's data, 3i Atlas has an albedo of only about 5%. With an estimated diameter of 46 kilometers, the light we see is reflected directly from its surface, not from sunlight bouncing off dust. This opens up an intriguing possibility. If its true reflectivity is actually higher, say like a mirror with an albedo close to 100%, then its real size could be as small as 10 kilometers. In other words, the brightness we observe may not reveal its true mass. Still, based on current measurements, a 46-kilometer object remains the most reasonable estimate, even though that size feels almost beyond imagination. Even more puzzling, Webb's infrared observations at a heliocentric distance of 3.32 astronomical units, over three times the Earth-Sun distance, revealed a coma dominated by carbon dioxide, with gas jets pointing toward the Sun, while water vapor carbon monoxide, ice, and dust were all extremely scarce. This presents another paradox. At 3.2 astronomical units, water ice should already be warm enough to sublimate into vapor, yet the data shows almost none at all. This means that, for now, most of 3i Atlas remains frozen solid despite the solar heat it's receiving. So why has the water ice stayed so silent? 
Perhaps its internal structure prevents easy sublimation, unlike ordinary comets. Or maybe the ice is covered by some strange material, shielding it from direct sunlight. It's even possible that the thick carbon dioxide escaping has created a kind of protective coat, wrapping the entire surface and delaying sublimation. Whatever the case, all signs point to one conclusion. 3i Atlas is not just an ordinary comet, but a cosmic enigma hiding mysteries far beyond our imagination. According to the latest analysis, Professor Avi Loeb has pointed out a shocking figure. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water in the outgassing of 3i Atlas reaches 8 when measured by molecular count. This is one of the highest ratios ever recorded in the history of comet research. In other words, the nucleus of 3i Atlas appears to be incredibly rich in carbon dioxide, so much so that it could almost be described as a carbon dioxide core object, rather than a typical comet dominated by water ice. This makes the detection of so little water vapor at its current distance from the sun a truly puzzling paradox. More detailed data revealed an even more astonishing fact. The estimated mass loss rates are about 129 kilograms per second for CO2, 6.6 kilograms per second for H2O, and 14 kilograms per second for CO. In comparison, the water vapor escaping is only about 5% of the carbon dioxide, a shockingly low value. To put this into perspective, the CO2 mass loss rate here is about 16 times greater than that of a normal comet at the same solar distance. In the entire history of comet observations, only one comet has ever shown such a dominance of CO2 over water. C. 2016R2. Yet even C. 2016R2 displayed a clear dust tail, completely unlike 3i Atlas, which shows no trace of a tail at all. This leads to a controversial hypothesis. The light we see from 3i Atlas may not be coming from a traditional dust tail at all, but instead from sunlight reflecting off carbon dioxide ice crystals that are ejected and then rapidly sublimate. James Webb's 1.2 micron images make this clear. There is no dust tail trailing behind. Instead, we see a symmetric spherical cloud surrounding the object. This cloud forms when CO2 ice grains are expelled then evaporate and spread evenly around the nucleus. To the eye, it could easily be mistaken for a dust cloud, but its true nature is entirely different. If this is correct, then the brilliant light of 3i Atlas cannot be explained by the gas cloud alone. The data shows the main source of brightness still comes from the solid surface, the very core of the object. With a nucleus estimated at 46 kilometers across, it is the surface itself that is reflecting sunlight, not a shroud of dust. And here's the striking part. Even though the CO2 mass loss is large, the total amount is only enough to form a layer about one millimeter thick if spread across the entire 46 kilometer wide nucleus. Yet this thin layer is still sufficient to produce the massive gaseous cloud we observe. In other words, all the evidence points in the same direction. 3i Atlas is unlike any comet ever seen in our solar system. Its abnormal gas ratios, bizarre mass loss rates, dazzling brightness without a tail, all combine into a giant paradox. Could this be a primordial body carrying unknown materials never before encountered? Or, according to bolder theories, could it even be an artificial object disguised beneath a shell of frozen ice? Whatever the answer, one thing is clear. 3i Atlas is redefining everything we thought we knew about the word comet. When we look back at the two predecessors of 3i Atlas, the differences are striking. Oumuamua was only about 200 meters long, so tiny that at first many thought it was just a wandering asteroid. The second interstellar visitor, Borisov, surprised astronomers with a nucleus measuring between one and two kilometers in diameter, already considered giant compared to many comets in our solar system. But when it comes to 3i Atlas, all familiar scales collapse. 
Its nucleus is estimated at a staggering 46 kilometers across. And even in the most conservative case, if its surface reflectivity were far higher, reducing its size to around 10 kilometers, the idea that such a massive body could form and drift freely through interstellar space, escaping the gravity of any parent star system, is nearly impossible according to conventional natural models. This very data is what has tipped the balance further away from a purely natural origin. Professor Avi Loeb, a strong proponent of the artificial technology hypothesis, adds a compelling argument. He notes, an average human exhales about one kilogram of carbon dioxide per day. Meanwhile, 3i Atlas is releasing 129 kilograms of CO2 every second, equal to the emissions of 10 million people. Imagine a colossal structure 46 kilometers wide. It could easily serve as a cosmic migration ship, housing millions of biological beings with a population density comparable to Manhattan. If a civilization truly had the ability to build interstellar craft, designing such a megastructure would make perfect sense. After all, in the endless journey through interstellar space, the greatest challenge is not just distance but high-energy cosmic radiation. Protons, alpha particles, and heavy ions moving close to light speed can penetrate living tissue, break DNA, damage cells, trigger mutations, cause cancer, cataracts, neurological damage, and even cognitive decline similar to Alzheimer's disease. On Earth, our magnetic field and atmosphere shield us from most of this radiation. But in the emptiness of space, humans or any organic life would be exposed directly to these threats. To survive, an advanced civilization would almost certainly need mobile shelters on a massive scale. The puzzle deepens when we consider 3i Atlas trajectory. It's hard to see it as mere coincidence that it crosses the ecliptic plane, the very plane where nearly all planets orbit, and passes close to three of the most important planets for human research. Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. Even more curious, calculations show it will leave our observational reach on October 29th. If this were just an ordinary comet, its departure would simply be orbital mechanics. But if it were an artificial craft, could that date be intentional? A scheduled point of hiding, or perhaps even an effort to evade our scrutiny. The question becomes even more intriguing when we place it in the context of our own species. In recent years, humanity has broadcast countless signals of activity into the cosmos, from radio projects seeking extraterrestrial intelligence, to spacecraft launches, to dense satellite networks expanding beyond Earth's orbit. Consider Voyager, the only spacecraft to have visited one of the two ice giants and the third of only five spacecraft to achieve solar escape velocity, entering interstellar space, the very same domain through which 3i Atlas has traveled into our solar system. Add to this Elon Musk and SpaceX completing the 10th test flight of Starship, the largest spacecraft ever built, intended to expand human presence to the Moon and Mars. From an outsider's perspective, these actions could appear as either a potential threat or, more optimistically, as a sign of curiosity worth investigating. So, could all of this unintentionally be an invisible invitation? And could 3i Atlas, with its mysterious arrival, be the first reply from a distant civilization, showing us that they are watching?